All right, so this is question 1.5. It's called one away. And so essentially with strings, there are three different types of inserts or edits I guess you can make. Um, the first one is insert a character. You can remove a character from a string and then you can replace a character in a string. Makes sense. Insert, delete, replace. And so essentially what we wanna do is we're given two strings into our method called one away. Um, she kind of gives us a few different example cases when they should return true and false. And we want to write a function that checks if we are one operation away. So we can do either one insert, one remove, or we can replace one character. Um, it doesn't mean that you can do, you know, three inserts or or you can do two removes. You, you can only do one of these one types of operations, if that makes sense. Um, and so, you know, we can kind of look at a few of these examples. This is the only one that's false because you would need to do one replace here by replacing this B with a P. And then you need one delete here if we're making all the operations on this thing um, by deleting this L. So you'd have to replace this with a B and then delete this L. Or if you're doing it on this string, you'd have to replace this B with a P and then insert an L. But for this one, you just have to delete an A to get that, or you just have to insert or an S here or delete this S to get this one. And then here you just have to replace this P with a B. So what we're gonna do is I already kind of created the methods that we have here. Um, we start with one away and here we're past that string and the second string that we're provided. And so our first check that we're actually gonna do is check if the strings are equal to each other. So if the strings are equal to each other, what this allows us to do is if they're equal to each other, then we know we want to do a replace operation because in order for this to work, like uh, this one here, you know, if they're equal to each other, we know that, you know, we all we have to do is one single replace operation. You know, otherwise if there's zero edits, they might be the exact same, then great, it's all done. Um, but what we're just gonna do is iterate through here and just see if, you know, there are just one character that we need to replace. So if they're equal to each other, we're just gonna return and perform a replace operation. Now, otherwise, if the strings have, and what we wanna do is essentially I only have an insert here. I never have an, a delete method because they're, you know, basically the same. <laughs> and that's because what we're gonna do is we're just going to perform the operations on the smallest string. So given this one and this one, we're just going to perform operations on the smaller one and we're just gonna add the character that's missing. You know, you could do the perform the operations on the larger string and just delete, but I just prefer the inserting logic. So we're just kind of disregarding the deleting operation. We're just handling the insertion part. And so with that, what we're gonna do is just figure out which one's the shorter string because we wanna pass the shorter string in the left or in the, the first parameter. So if string one dot length minus string two dot length. And we're gonna take the absolute just to make sure that they only have one um, length difference. Because if it's greater than one length difference, um, then clearly we would have to do more than one insert or in the other logic, do more than one delete, which would fail. So if it's equal, equal to one, 
I have to add brackets here. Then we enter this clause. Otherwise, we just return false. So if they're not the same length, we can't do replace. If they have greater than a difference of one in the length, then we just return false. So here, so if, because we want to find out which one's the smaller and which one's the largest string. So if string one dot length is less than string two, then we return insert once. And then otherwise, we just return the opposite of that. Sweet. Great, so let's fill out this replace one method. And so this one's really easy. What we're actually gonna do is we're not even going to do any replacing or any insertion. We just wanna check, you know, how many times we would have had to replace it. So once we, we have a Boolean, um, variable called replaced equals false. And when we would have needed to replace a character, we set this to true. And then if we check how we already needed to replace before, if that's true, then we just return false because we only want to be able to replace one time. So for i equals zero, i is less than, and we just take one of their length because we know that their lengths are the same. I plus plus. So if um, if string one dot character at i is not equal string two. So if the characters are different, then we set replaced to true. But if we've already replaced before, then we just want to return false. Great, and so at the end, if it's able to iterate through the entire string and it hasn't needed to replace more than once, then we just return true. So for our insert one logic, because the main caveat for this is they can have different lengths and strings, so you have to be careful when you're making your for loop that you don't go out of bounds. So we actually use two pointers here. We use a pointer for the min, and we're gonna use a pointer for the max string. And those, I'm just kind of describing the max length and the min length. And so we just wanna do while the min pointer is less than, you know, the min strings length. And the max pointer is less than the max string dot length. Great. So once again, we're going to check if they're different. So if here, we're gonna have a clause, but now we're using these two min and max pointers. So that's min pointer, we're using min string, using the max string, and our max pointer. Oh, max pointer. So what we do is we increment the max, actually I'll show you this clause first, else. So <clears throat> if they're equal to each other, so if P is equal to the other P, we're just gonna increment both pointers by one because clearly they're the same, so we just move on to the next character. So we do, oh, and I realize that this is supposed to be pointer there. So max pointer plus plus and min pointer plus plus. But for this one, 
Oh, I'm goofing up here. I have to rewrite this. And then pointer plus plus. So for here, when they don't equal each other, what we're going to do is we're just going to increment the max length string, like the string with the longer length. So for this one, when we get to this point, we're looking at L, and then we look at B, we realize they don't equal the same, so we're just going to increment to the next um, index for the max string, because we're kind of treating it as if we did insert B here. But we don't need to do any inserts, we're just checking whether, you know, how many times we would have inserted before. So we're just incrementing to the next step. So let's just increment the max pointer. So what we know here is that if we incremented this max pointer once before, so B here, so now these are the max point and the min pointer aren't the same. So now this one's pointing to index two and this point it will be pointing to index um, three here. And so if we had another one like F on this length, then when we get to this one, we would have had to in increment the max pointer again. So it's like now two pointers ahead. So all we do here is if the min pointer does not equal the max pointer, we just return false. Because that means we would have had to increment the max pointer, you know, one extra time before, which means we would have done an insert before, kind of like what we're doing with this, you know, replace Boolean. We just, we don't really need to use, you know, an extra variable to check whether you've done an insert before. So if the max pointer is already one ahead of the min pointer, then we know we've done an insert before and we just return false. But if it was able to get through the entire while loop, we just return true. And that's everything. So why don't we give this a compile? We just have a few errors. So line 47. I uh, forgot to add an int there. And then just one more max pointer. Oh, yes, I forgot to initialize it there. Sweet. Great, so that would return false because yeah, we would have had to do two inserts here, but if we get rid of the F, then we just need to do one insert, which is true. And why don't we pass this test case in here, which is also false because we would have to do one replace and an insert for it. So we run that, it's false. And then why don't we do a replace test case? So we do this, so you would have to replace the P with the B. And it's true, because you only have to do uh, one replace operation. So I hope that helped. It was a little tricky, but I definitely think um, kind of narrowing down the te test cases, realizing that the first caveat is if they're equal length, then you can just care about the replacing side of things. You just have to do one replace and you don't even have to do the actual replacement. You just use a Boolean to track if you'd already done a replacement before. And then the other kind of caveat is realizing that you don't even have to care about the delete operations. You just take whichever one is the shortest string and you perform just one insert operation on it. But otherwise, if the difference is greater than one, then you would obviously have to do at least more than one insert, so you just return false. Great, so I hope that helped. Oh, and um, one last thing is we do have a time complexity of O of N because we're just iterating through it you know, at most N times of where N is the larger string, so the max string. And then the space complexity is O1 because we're just doing everything 
you know, in place. Thank you.